Welcome back, guys. I know it's been a little bit longer than I wanted it to be, but I think this project is awesome. And there is a multitude of ways that it will be changed and can be changed, and I'll show you that in the future. But I'm intending to make what I learned from this a couple plastic jugs. This mask right here. Now, let's see how it's done. So the first part of this project is finding the spine for what you're going to be building. In this case, I used some cheap plywood and just hot glued it right onto the skull mask that I used from the last video because that fits my head very well. And then you have to cut out the sides that you're going to make the profile on for the rest of the beak. And just some more hot glue to attach all that. It only has to be a temporary thing. I do want the skull back when I'm done with this whole project. Now you have to tape up the eyes so you don't waste so much gypsum and just smear on as much as you can. You're supposed to do this in thinner layers. I found this out way later. And I'm putting uh, the heat gun on it now just to get a quick skin on the top so I can mold it before I let it sit and dry for uh, about two days. Now after the initial drying, I just come back and keep touching everything up and massaging things to exactly where I want them. Once that final coat is set, just come over, sand everything down. I'm only using 80 grit sandpaper and I want to get it as smooth as possible and wear out any inconsistencies that I don't want to appear in the final project. It's not hard work, it's just kind of fiddly and that's really it. Now I'm speeding everything up here to twice what I normally do. I will put a card in the top right hand corner right now. This is just the same exact process I used on the other mask. So I'll put that card to that video here. And really it just takes a long time because you have to work back and forth. One of the key things you have to do is get a place to lock in the plastic so it doesn't want to move around on you. The beak is probably the hardest part because the plastic just wants to slip off the nose end. So I do try and wrap it all the way around. And if you notice the profile on the beak, it does kind of widen out for a second. Now, I decided to make this mask in three parts. And they will overlap each other. The nose will be the highest section, then the eye section here, and then the skull cap. This will give you a good appearance from the front, as well as make it a lot easier to hide any... I usually call them sins, any mistakes, errors, something that you could be easily overlooked if it's done right. Now it's just time to trim everything out, make it look pretty. And I did use the sander just to get into those eye sockets a little bit and to make the beak a little bit smoother and give it a good curve on the bottom. Initially I tried uh, some super glue or cyanoacrylate. It did not stick at all to the uh, high-density polyethylene, but, but the hot glue does work very well. I'm not sure exactly why, but I'm not going to complain. It does get a little bit hot on your fingers, so use something to press it in with. And while everything's still attached, I just use my Dremel to cut out the nose and eye sockets. Now there are several ways to do this. In the future I will be making a vacuum form machine, so this will be a lot easier. But for those of you who don't have a vacuum form machine, this is how you can do it. 
there are a few ways I would have changed it. Um, I would have spent a little bit more time on it, maybe used a sheet of plastic instead of uh, water jugs. But I want this to be a project that's accessible to anyone who has the time. Not a very hard project. Uh, one thing that I'm going to be doing for it next is scuffing the whole surface with sandpaper and then painting it with some plastic paint. Uh, plastic paint does not stick well to HDPE, a high density polyethylene, so you have to scuff the surface up to give it a bit of a mechanical uh, connection as well. I'm not going to be filming doing the bottom jaw because it took way too long to film doing the whole top because of how long the gypsum takes to set, but once that's all finished I will be taking video of applying the different uh, washes after it's been after it has its first coat of uh, spray paint and then doing the musculature parts. Uh, I'll explain all that in that video and put links to where you can find more detailed information. I will have throughout this video a couple cards that you could look at. I hope you do. Uh, they will be to my video of making the other mask as well as to the original place where I found all the information if you wanted to, to take a look at it in much greater detail. Anyways guys, if you like this video, please leave a like, a comment, and if you want to get more content from me, I try my best to upload every Friday, and until Halloween I'll be uploading as often as possible with project updates on the costume. Hit that subscribe button, and I'll see you guys next Friday, or sooner. Stay safe, take care, see you then.